You're watching Morning Thank TV. Thank you for keeping it here on NTV. This is Morning at NTV. Stephen Imbido on Fepe Suwechuga coming to you live from here on the ground in Indeva. And this is Rubaga Division. And here we're still at the site uh, that was brought down in Sunday, on Sunday night uh, by people who are yet to be identified. But at least uh, many of the accounts that we've received that uh, this was the work of one of the officers of a prime enterprises uh, that is a tycoon called uh, Mwanje Dodo Vico. But here, uh, at least we know that, yes, the, the structure that is uh, uh, located along plot 39, uh, block 7 here in Indeba, uh, that was housing a church and other buildings was brought down and that from around 10 p.m. in the night. But before that, we know also that in March, because this land has been uh, under con contestation between the Church of Uganda and some private private developers, and in March this year, they were able to bring down the structure of a school uh, that is St. Peter's Primary School, and this is the other side where uh, the school was was he, uh, around here and the bu buildings there will show you this the school that uh, maybe Jeff Tracy who is on camera here can show you some of the structures uh, that were uh, housing a school here the St. Peter's Primary School that were also brought down in March before uh, heated contestation began here along uh, this uh, uh, plot this is plot seven but also across the road there al around Rubiri Ring Road is the Kabaka's uh, Palace there and it's also said from the accounts we've received here uh, that uh, this land was given uh, towards the to, to the church by one of the royal family members that is Nabachua Nava Evelyn who was the daughter to uh, Sekabaka Mutesa uh, who, who was able to give uh, this land to uh, the church but of course this land has been under church of uganda from as early as 1980 and this is almost uh, 45 years but of course here uh, people came in the morning here to try to see those who were not able to come here yesterday to see what was done here uh, they've been coming here but police was also on guard has been here from sunday night when this operation was good going down here and these police officers have been also chasing away all the people who have been coming here to make sure they see what was left from this debris that was brought down here on Sunday night. The toilet there also was not spared. The toilet that was for the church, this St. Peter's church was also brought down there. The pictures you're seeing on your screen are those of the toilet or uh, sanitary facilities that were uh, for the people, uh, go faithfuls have going here, coming here uh, for the services in, on Sundays and other places. But I have also been uh, made aware that the Church of Uganda Archbishop his Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mugalu, is any time from now, around 10 a.m., he's going to be here to inspect what was left here at the St. Peter's Church here in Ndeba. But at least we know that uh, three top police officers, that is the DPC of Katwe, that is David Epedu, is under detention, as well as uh, the Field Force Unit Officer, that is Issa Vidye Kalori, is also under detention, as well as the Office Station of Ndeba, uh, that is... Mujira Yeko is also under detention. Uh, these are some of the police officers who are guarding this place premises to avoid anyone coming here to either vandalize what was left here or to at least uh, continue accessing these premises. I'm also told that here uh, the Church of Uganda is now uh, allowed access to these premises uh, that previously they've not been able to access uh, because the uh, officers that were deployed here by Ephraim Enterprises uh, were guarding against anyone coming here. But also we know that for now as NTV we know that there was a, uh, a directive for demolition of these premises uh, that was issued by the Acting Physical Planning Office of KCCA that is Ivan Katongole who was uh, who issued this directive on 30th of uh, July and these people were able to go ahead with the demolition on 8th, that is the Sunday night. Uh, let me speak, I'm told also there are some people who spend here the night, they are here, uh, the Christians, we are here trying to pray and see that they have the spiritual intervention for whatever is going to be taking place uh, for this, uh, what is was left here. Let me speak to some of the people who are seniors, have been here for some time, they've been praying he from here uh, for s quite some good time. Mucharono, Degedekont Yomu, Kubasu, Ka, Muchizimbo, Wanga Bakungani, Wano, Yagna, Wanga, Mburi, Yamanyage, Mburi, Ne, Ye, Banga, Yamazenga, Sabida, Wano, Nyabo, Sotia. Burundi, Sevo, Sizotia, Sevo. 
Bulungi. Ah, nga mwala bine chikanga bwa chaba gudeko. Mwala nge tuwala bina cho chikanga bwa chama anyi. Nyo nyo. Nyo. Kupange kanisa ya fe. Tutawanyi na yeo. Sente nga bo zima nye zitala vika. Na ine tusonda, ne tukola. Tuwa soke la mbu mumuli. Wali wa manga wansi. Na inga tunja ne tukute mumuli. Awa nga wali wa mazao. Bale te mumuli ne tuzikuta. Ne tuziwawura. Nebasiba mumbiri. Eh, miaka ngeme kejo. Ya, utuali monsambu mwenda. Hmm. Na yendo za, tuata andikanga nsambu mwenda na anga guwako. Uh, unga tukute mwili. Nsambu mwenda, netugule net, takali ya fe. Mchiala. Hmm. Mumbedia. Umanya kuzi kwaani? Nze o iva wanyana. Kati umbedia o iyaani? Umbedia iye na... Sha. Iye na wachwa kumpita mwenda? Aha, yo, yo na wachwa. Hmm. Itu agula, netugula. Itakali ya fera netufune echi hapa. Mm. Echi hapa tubitu bige ndana mirembe. Mm. E, na ye katinze engeli jesari mkachi kakaba akaba tu, a, ababira ku, abatufu wa guru. Mm. Nze ngandie no ndimu, ndimu kristayo. Mm. Kwe gamba, evi yonga bebiba bige nze batubu ulira no kusasula, no kusasula tuwa sasula. Ni batubu ulira na echi hapa ni bachitula gako. Nchigende na mirembe. Kakati tuli mu lockdown, tuli mu mbele na umadite mchasi nziza wano. Kanisa wa zigala. E. Kakati goro za chino chini. Waka, mm. buli omu nga ali wakawe. Atenga baga amba, nti evye taka. Ebyo nevyo, tevija kukua tivu wako nga lockdown uwe. Echa, echa, echa kumara kugu wawo. Tulio ketu jirechi, bitandike. Atenga tuwa wayo, tu, tuwa wayo mkoti okujulira. Je kubade, ngatuli indabita bigwe, tulioke, tugende mkoti bajulire. Gwenga omukuli sitayo, mm. asinzi za wano, mm. oroze, nsonga zionzi ina kubanga ziku watu wa kusisa, kubanga di, urede kanisa yedi wansi. Chechi ino kubanga chikuli wa musawe eno? Musawe eno, vana nga vagenze wa, ewa, ewa, edis, edis nakalema, mm. boba gambie, nti, yaba kiriza, batandiko ukurongosa. Lulite, lulibe baji. Ale beba, kanisa ya Uganda? E, be, uh, government ya tukiriza. Mm. President Museveni ya tukiriza. Mwa bakuli stayo? Uh, bakuli stayo. Tutandiko ukurongosa. Mm. Ila tutandiko ukusinziza. Ukusinza wetu na arabo. Bata kusinziza moti. Na ye, nga luliwe baji, we, ululiwe baji, weba tuse ngula lwe njini nga tivana wako menya. Nga polisi te tukiriza kulinyao. Nga tetulinyao wa denebo mbera obusuka buwe kuberi. Nga tiba tukiriza. Ila tiba dete tujiao. Okay. Nga tetulinyira wadara. Eva Wanyana. Okay, Eva Wanyana. She is one of the faithful who congregate from this place at St. Peter's Church. But she says at least uh, the Church of Uganda uh, was in negotiation with government at least to make sure that uh, they go ahead with the congregations once uh, the lockdown on, on the churches is lifted. But let me also show you that once uh, the lockdown is lifted on education institutions, uh, the children or the students, pupils who have been coming here to study from these premises are not going to be able to study from these premises because uh, this is one of the, the, the structures uh, housing St. Peter's Primary School where uh, these kids have been studying from. But just imagine if the schools were directed to open tomorrow, uh, this uh, St. Peter's Church of Uganda pre and primary school children will not be able to come here to study. And the question is, where will they be going to study from? And this is their, all, uh, their study material that was also brought down. But I know that also uh, the, the, the intervention is by government, that, like, including the Minister of Lands and uh, Housing, as well as the Vice President who was also here, and some dignitaries like the Lord Mayor were here yesterday to make sure that at least uh, this issue, this conflict here, it is um, an amicable solution that is got, gotten uh, from these premises so that uh, at least uh, there is a solution that is gotten from out of the, all this mess. But at least for now, we know that the church St. Peter's Church of Uganda is now down, and the faithfuls who are across the country were angered by this. That was done last uh, on Sunday night. And the question is, uh, the question is uh, who were behind this? Uh, were the police officers uh, compromised to make sure they guard uh, those who were bringing the church down? But at least I uh, passed by the Katwe police station. I saw the grader that, worked, that was on ground here to bring down the structure down. It is already at the police station at Katwe police division there near that we are on about it is there as investigations continue already uh, the house the state house uh, and corruption unit was is also involved here because and uh, at least Lieutenant Colonel Nakalima, Edith Nakalima also issued a directive that was coming from also uh, sources, from, sources from the state house it, 
uh, uh, saying that they have also to investigate and get to the bottom of this issue. And I know that the Archbishop of Uganda, Stephen Kazimba Mugalu, is also going to be here any time from now to inspect this, this structure that was brought down. And at least he has uh, gotten a report from the Bishop of Namilembe Diocese, who was also here, Bishop Chitolu Walira. And at 8 a.m., the Katikyo of Uganda, which Tiwa Charles Peter Maiga he made a stop over here as he was on his way uh, towards his offices at Vlangi Mengo. And in just, just two minutes, he looked on and wandered without moving out of his car as he was going towards uh, the other side of Vlangi. But many people are making a stop over here, either those on, on foot and others who are riding bicycles, uh, motorcycles, and others who are just driving. This is what I can update you for now from here in Indeva, where a structure by Church of Uganda was brought down. This is Morning at NTV. Stephen Mbido of FFS, which we have been here with Jeff Tracy J, who is on camera, but on my behalf and all the entire crew from Andrew Chamagero, Mutua Wansi, and Flavia Tumusime, who are with you from 6.30 a.m. up to now. And the entire production technical crew, we say thank you for keeping it NTV. Until tomorrow, morning at NTV stops here, and Farida Nakas will be on with Masuzemutia at 9 a.m. Keep it here. I'm out for now.